Jay's attacking the canteen now. <sighs>
How's the patient? He's starting to wake up. Thank you for your help. You can go. Wait, what's going on here? You went to the witch, didn't you? To this Margaret. She gave me herbs that might help him. She's not a witch. There's no such thing as witches. That's superstition. Superstition? Witchcraft is a crime! Please, just calm down. What's happening? We're losing him. Aiden, give me those herbs. I forbid it! Keep that witch's poison away from I him! I can give him an injection to stabilize him, but it won't last long. Did you tell her who the medicine was for? She killed his men! She should have hanged for that, but Jack Mack had ate or burn her eyes out instead! What? Did you tell her? She'll have given you poison, I guarantee it! Aiden, give me the herbs, damn it! How is he? It appears the medicine is as effective as I'd hoped. He needs his rest. We should all leave him be. I... I won't be far. It looks like you had Margaret pegged. She didn't want to poison him after all. Yes. Seems that way. And what'll happen to him now? If all goes well, he should start to wake up soon. And then we'll find out who did this to him. All thanks to you. Hey, have you seen the Quartermaster anywhere? Catch a stealing, you lose a hand, pal. No order without the trick Can I help? Matt told me to see you. Yes, he wanted me to give you this. A little reward for helping us peacekeepers. A UV flashlight. Could come in handy. Thanks. He said something about a plan? The VNC tower. Now that the lights are on, we can use the TV antenna to broadcast our call for mobilization. But first, we need to get to the top. And that's a long road. What do you want to know? Tell me more about this radio station on the tower. It's the tallest building in Villador. It was once a symbol of the city's greatness. Now, a symbol of its fall. Why do you say that? That antenna could bring the city together once more. But anyone who goes up there trying to fire it up, guess what happens? Nothing good, I bet. Damn right. The city's potential shining beacon is a death trap. We're hoping it'll be different this time. 
We're gonna light it up with UV lamps. And what makes it so dangerous? A volatile nest inside, so we think. It's the biggest dark zone around. Once, night runners tried to take it over. They wanted to use the antenna to connect all the separate groups of survivors, give the people some hope. But they never even got close to the antenna. And in the end, the night runners were wiped out. Wait, wiped out? You mean every last night runner? That's the problem. Frank had it all carefully planned. But for his plan to have worked, he'd need everyone. All hands on deck. And that didn't happen? Not everyone believed in the plan. So there was a rift. Frank thought they'd come around in time, but not everyone came around after all. The plan went to shit. It was horrifying. Those who heard the Night Runner's screams on the radio that night still have nightmares about it. What happened to the group that refused to join the mission? Split up, drifted apart. Whoever led the descent was branded a traitor. And the Night Runners faded into a shameful memory after that. We shouldn't waste time on the past. We need our heads in the game, here and now. Okay, let's get going. Are the lights in place? They would be, if Juan from Supplies would just do his job for once. I take it that he didn't. He's been playing hide-and-seek the last few days, and he's late. Getting on my nerves. So look in on Juan first, see what his deal is. And when you do find him, kick him in the ass. Tell him it's from me. Got something to say? Give the renegades for that. Hey, you want to be sent back to the Outlands? So, keep got him. I got away, but I don't think those are renegades. Don't get distracted, it's just what they want. Who are you? This batcher sent me to check on the status of an order. Yeah, yeah. Fucking PKs think we can just make the stuff up here magically. Just point me to your commander and I'll get out of your hair. Uh, Juan's pretty busy right now. He doesn't have time for you. We'll tell him to find the time. Jack Matt sent me. <laughs> no one supervises Juan, buddy. Juan is just... Juan. Get with the program. Sides, he ain't here. You want to find him? Ask his assistant where he is. Just remember, you're on supplier turf now. Mind your manners. Butcher's our greatest enemy. He's responsible for the <laughs> Looking for Juan Rayner. You don't appear to be on his schedule. It's urgent. The commander sent me. So Monsieur Jacques sends you? Jacques? Jacques Matt. Monsieur Reyna is not here. I can't take a message. No, I need to talk to him in person. Where is he? Unfortunately, I can't help. Monsieur Reyna's whereabouts are no one's business. Wait if he must. Anything else? Now wait, but you're no fun. What about your boss? What's he do for fun? Monsieur Reyna is well known as a connoisseur of the finest things in life. Food, drink, and pretty much anything that walks on two legs. Is he near any of these so-called finer things right now? Maybe I can drop in on him there. Nice try, but no. I won't say. 
Matt's not going to be happy. Juan is not particularly concerned with the little major's feelings. Do come again. In the Juan? Hayden. Getting settled in the city? Working on it. Meyer and Jack sent me to supply. Interesting bunch. Not like any of the other PKs I've met. That might be because they're not PKs, Eagle Eye. Business is their true faith. I see. Anyway, I can't track down their boss. Juan? He likes to make himself scarce. Probably lurking around the fish eye. The canteen? The slick bastard's even got his own table there. Bribed the cook to bring him off-menu goods. He lives like the fall never took place. I'll look for him there. Good luck finding him. And good luck if you do find him. Things are how they are. See anything you like? I savaged that one myself. Come back and shop again, buddy. To do. Bother me. I'm thinking. Idea, well, then at least share what you're thinking That's about. Ader looks like a pile of ground beef. What did that to him? What's up? I wanted to officially thank you. Aether's back on his feet. If it wasn't for you, he'd still be in a coma. Or worse. I'm glad he's better. Me too. Only he knows what happened in old Philidor. And soon, thanks to you, I'll know as well. Over and out. Rainer? You lost, man? We didn't call for a waiter. I've got orders to find you, from Meyer and the Commander. And my name's... I know who you are, Aiden. After that bang-up with the Renegades, half the canteen wants to name their most precious offspring after you. Including Vinny here. But you interrupted our meal. State your purpose in one sentence, then please... Make yourself scarce. Oh, you know perfectly well why I'm here. The UV lamps. Meyer says you owe the peacekeepers a delivery. And you think your barking will make an impression on me? The Lummox in Chief Jack thinks he can scent his terrier, and everyone will wet themselves in terror. But what can I expect? 
He can't tell the difference between champagne and a crystal chalice, or water from a dog's bowl. He has an ounce of refinement. Isn't that right, Vinny? Uh, I don't know. Don't be afraid. It's not like Jack is gonna march in and have you hanged. At least not now. Uh... Ah, oh, Vinny. When will you grow a spine? You want my attention, Aiden? Show me you deserve it. What can you offer me? Look, I could help you out as easily as I'm trying to help Matt. I don't doubt that. I've heard you were a pilgrim. But you're new here. Smashing the skulls of a few peasants doesn't mean everyone wants to lift you up on their backs. You have to be more subtle with people. Everyone has their own desire, their, their own price. Your pitch just isn't working for me quite yet. Try again. How about a court-martial? Matt can do that, right? <laughs> a court-martial? You have no idea who you're talking to, do you? Who would hash out the contracts with the suppliers? Who would feed the army, provide it with weapons and clothing? A week without me, and the peacekeepers will be left with nothing. Supply is everything. Try again, man. And don't improv this time. <sighs> I'm... <sighs> You've used up all your time. Didn't pique my interest. But what is it you want, Juan? <sighs> like they used to say, if you gotta ask the price, you can't afford it. Returning to more pressing matters. And? What should we try next? Did you make headway with the pompous ass? Never met a guy quite like him before. Come see me back at my place. We'll talk. Even a drop of Pinot. Maybe some fruit. Let me guess. He scarfed down five horses and had a hot young woman at his side. A young man, but the rest is accurate. He's a piece of work, all right. But I need him to get back to work. Jack needs UV lamps and Juan's dragging his feet. Hmm, that'll be tough. Juan barely listens to Jack, so he'll be an even tougher audience for you. He has his own men and power base and he loves rubbing Jack's nose in that. And what can I do about that? Same as everyone else, bribe him. He likes fine art, antiques, expensive shit from before the fall. When he sees something that used to be valuable, he can't stop himself, zero self-control. Hmm. All right, where can I find something like that? I heard of an old Polish guy who lived in a penthouse by Liberation Passage. They say he was an art collector. You can try his place. You can only get there via paraglider. That's why there's a chance something is left. I'll be on the radio and guide you to him. What about you, huh? Going on a hunt? <laughs> no, a party. It's Danier's birthday, but you never know when a guest list will overlap with a hit list. Why don't you come and have a drink with us when you're done with one? I don't think Daniel likes me. <laughs> he doesn't like anybody. We'll be in touch. Someone's killed everyone in this city? You believe. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Hospitality. Of course, this ain't PK territory. <laughs> Community still means something here. There's one thing I'd ask for in exchange, though. You said before you've met pilgrims. They as cunning as they say? I've seen many pilgrims, but only known one. People say they're criminals, unconscious. <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> 